Come with me as I breed new varieties. It can't be overstated that genetic recombination and artificial selection form the basis of classic plant breeding. No other technique has yielded more novel traits or positive impacts to plant genetics, far more than GMO, gene editing, and random mutations. Without careful selection for specific traits, genetic recombination often achieves little to no improvements. When people walk into my house, they're often greeted with dozens of white paper bags, each one containing a different tomato selection. The paper bags are a super low-tech method of collecting fruit off individual plants with a number code and name associated and some basic field notes that will later get put in a spreadsheet. With so many different selections, tracking each one becomes vital. All five of these tomatoes originate from the same cross but have different characteristics. Just a small illustration of the diversity that can come from a single cross. Here's three more selections from a different set of parents. So this begs the question, what are we selecting for? Well, flavor and color are two obvious ones. Also, ladder truss versus this multifloral truss. But perhaps more important are all the traits that an average person wouldn't think of, including but not limited to leaf type, yield, disease resistance, plant habits such as indeterminate, determinant, and dwarf, fruit quality and shape, shelf life, each having their own modes of inheritance, often not appearing in a single selection or generation, but over the course of many generations. Next episode, we'll talk about modes of inheritance. Follow for more.